Bonjour and welcome to my channel. Today I want to revisit an old project that I made in 2019, a weather station based on a WIMAS. Now I want to redo it using an ESP07 instead of a WIMAS and I want to make it work on battery and solar panel instead of using the external adapter connected to the wall. So this is a goal today. As you can see on the screen, these are images from my old project. I'm going to show you the new components and the changes that I made. So let's begin. So these are the components. Uh, let's take a look rapidly. Uh, the first thing is the main board that I designed with Eagle. I'm going to show you. Then I'm going to use an ESP07 as uh, the replacement for the WIMAS. Uh, the other part that is the power management is controlled by this board and the voltage regulator. The battery and the solar panel will be connected to this board. I'm going to talk about the board in a few minutes. And for the rest, we have an antenna that will be connected here and other cables and components that will be added to the board. Okay, as you can see, the ESP07 is a quite small board and it doesn't have any pins. So I had to design and cut with my CNC a small board on which I can solder uh, the ESP07 and that I can program with a breadboard. So this is the board with the pin soldered on it. And finally, I used an old Node MCU to use as a programmer to upload the sketch in my ESP07. This is the setup. Okay, for the moment, let's go outside and look at the actual weather station after almost two years outside. As you can see, there are a couple of insects and spiders that try to go in. And I'm pretty intrigued to see how is it inside. Is it infested with insects or is it plain? I have no idea. By the way, this board is not watertight. It is open on the, on the, on the bottom, as you can see, to let the air flow. Uh, and uh, to let the temperature affect the sensor. So let's cut the cable and remove the device and then analyze the inside. Okay, interesting. Let's open the, the enclosure. As you can see here, the spider webs are all over the place. Let's pull it off. Remember that it's not watertight at all. Oh my god, it's so clean inside. It doesn't even have any signs of rust or corrosion. I still see the, the, the insects outside, but you know. Wow, okay. So let's take a look at the, uh, the new electronic circuit. First, we have here the ESP07, which is the main part, the brain of the system. Here we have the, uh, the temperature sensor, the BME280. Um, here we have um, the programmer switch where I can upload the settings for my Wi-Fi, the internal Wi-Fi. Um, we have the board to control the charge from the solar panel to the battery and two wires using a voltage divider to monitor the voltage of the battery while it is charging. And here we have the small uh, uh, MCP1701, the voltage uh, regulator, and finally the, the circuit that I ordered on a GLC PCB. This part is not part of it because it's for the, the other version, but it's the same footprint. These are the service mount resistors. And for the rest, it's quite simple. The regulator is right here, and we have the BME280 here. Okay, so these are the pins to program the chip ensure that the uh, solar panel was uh, able to work with the battery I used the TP4056 board which is in charge of charging the battery from the solar panel then I mount all the electronic on a board and let it sit on the table outside for at least two weeks and everything went very good so the next logical step was to order the board and when I received it this is it I decided to solder all the components on it and did another, let's say, two weeks of test outside to see if everything was working properly. By the way, we are in Quebec and it's actually the winter. It is actually minus 19 degrees Celsius, so it's a pretty good test. 
it's under a roof but still on the balcony outside I use two solar panels but it's the night actually the battery is actually draining but it's working so I think it's gonna be okay so here we are in fusion as you can see I work very hard to create the new circuit generate the 3d version of it fit it inside the actual body because I wanted to reuse the actual body that was printed two years ago and was in excellent condition so I did not want to reprint everything so the only thing I made is a brand new circuit and I fit everything inside the actual body then it was time to prepare and print all the components and then mount them so let's see the printing part when printing stuff it's not abnormal to go back and forth between the 3d tool and the printer as you can see here i'm actually making a couple of corrections this is the support for the solar panel and they was not totally correct for the print so I had to adjust it a little bit so uh, this is what I did and after the adjustment was made I sent it to my printer but as you can see the print is not perfect and it's because of the machine that I use my old and beloved Ultimaker that I bought in 2015 starts to show signs of wear but still it's working and it's perfect for that kind of project Okay, so let's take a look between the old version, which has a power cord, as you can see here, and the new version, which is now based on battery. Very nice, you see the battery behind here. They use the same footprint of them because they fit inside the same enclosure. But you see here, the temperature sensor is not soldered on the board because I want to have them at, at the end of wires to avoid thermal transfer. And as you can see, the new version have kind of a small wall that the old version didn't have. So now let's slide the electronic circuit inside the enclosure and install everything outside. And here we have it, the new weather station installed outside without any external power. We're using two solar panels. Uh, everything is glued in place, screwed in place. I think it's, it's going to be okay, at least for a couple of years, I hope. And the last part is the dashboard. This is the dashboard. I have the temperature here, the pressure. I have the battery voltage that I didn't have before. And for the HES, I have a quick look for the temperature, the humidity, and the barometric pressure uh, outside. So this is it. This concludes the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I inspire you. And please subscribe to my channel. And see you next time. Bye.